Really a very, very, very deserved honor for being a She has not only been a very, very key person in the community, serving the community over the years, uh, not only with, during COVID, but any time that something needs to be done in the community, if Dina is available, she has a heart of gold. No is not in her vocabulary. And as a friend, she's been one of the most loyal people that I've known for many, many years. I actually met Dina when I was on the board for the Interfaith Council of Community Development, and we used to go out together to do the community programs together. So as a friend, I say thank you for your friendship. And from our community, I say thank you for all that you've done. And I hope that you continue to do more for many, many years to come. Thank you. We forget to build our work on the bench. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, criminal lawyer and um, top election lawyer. I'm not running, right? Um, Ali Najmi has his own law firm. Um, and Ali, I'm very thankful that you have mentored my daughter. Today she's in her first year of law school. And I guess in three years she might be a partner with you. Who knows? <laughs> um, <laughs> but the hack rate when I get everybody a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to invite Ali Najmi to address you for a few minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Hack. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. It's so good to be here to honor our judges. I am uh, a co-founder of an organization called the South Asian Indo-Caribbean Bar Association of Queens. I've been admitted to practice law now for 12 years. I remember going to the courthouse in 2011, 2012, 13, 14, 15, looking around and being like, there's nobody in any of these city courts that looks like they could be a member of my family. And around that time, in certain those years, you know, as an attorney, you go, you network, you join other bar associations. I became the dues paying member of the Brandeis Association of Queens, a, a group of Jewish lawyers. And I started reading their bylaws, and they were started in the 50s. And their explicit purpose was to get more diversity on the bench at that time. And I said, you know what? We need one of these. And actually, Judge Gopi is our president, and Andrew Yonkel is our board member. And after we did that, we started you know, giving ourselves a vision. And, and using the you know, political framework to, to, to advance this cause. We even learned new things with the election of Judge Soma Sayed, who won a very contested election countywide. We have a lot to learn from her on how to go to the next level as well. And so I think that the point of what I'm trying to say is that you gotta dream big and we gotta work together and look how far we've come. And I think that we can all go further working together. In fact, everybody who's not in Supreme Court yet, Judge Johnson, Judge Saeed, Judge Andriogo, we need to help them get to the next level. And, and actually, Mr. Gaines said it best. We, I think the appellate division is within reach. I think the Court of Appeals is within reach. You've got to be elected Supreme to get to appellate division. So we've got to get you all elected Supreme. And and I think you know, training the next generation is really important. He mentioned that she needs an act, his daughter, worked for me. She worked for me as my paralegal for over two years. And now she's in law school. And she actually knows a lot about election law. I've had her do, you know, she did a complete, complete service on election law is very difficult. She's literally gotten to the post office at 9.50 p.m. for me to get papers done and, and knows how to put a petition together and do a lot of things. So she's going to be a great attorney. I can see, you know, people like Shaniza are the people we need to support. And I know that when Shaniza sees the great women who are sitting here today and are on the bench, I know it makes her more confident. I know it makes me more confident. And confidence is key, right? That's how we get ahead. So thank you, Brother Hack, for putting it all together. Everybody I know runs on starting next Saturday, inshallah. May Allah heal our hearts, accept our fast, and give and us all progress. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have three more items on the program. Uh, I will call the president for IDC. Um, he has the presentation for the four judges. And then I will call the president for the Rotary Club.
to say a few words. After that, we'll have Mohammed Khalil from the ICD. Well, after that, I'll have the president say a few words, and then we'll wrap up with Khalil. We'll try to get all of this done in 15 minutes, because the, we don't want to be blocked in the uh, parking lot. There's another event with the Pago group upstairs. I think it's 7 o'clock, uh, right? So we'll try to get out before 7. Thank you. I'd like to introduce judges, Dr. Shara Madi Kardi, who is our Director of Community Health Services in New York, and Christine uh, Perma, and where is um, Mr. Diego San, who is the Vice President of our Trinidad and Tobago Indian National Council. Uh, I'll hand it over to you now, Shara. Namaste, good evening, salam alaikum to everybody. I am very, very highly honored to be here today. And one statement at the risk of stealing a little slogan What can brown judges do for you within this community? I welcome you, I am in awe of you, and I strive to be a little bit of you every day. One of the things that our community presents as immigrants, we present with humility. We don't want power, we don't need power. We present because we come with confidence. We will do that every time, and as long as we stay true to that, we will always succeed. So with that, we would like to present the first award. On behalf of uh, IDC, the Indian Diaspora Council, the four newly elected women judges come during Women's History Month, which is so appropriate. You're an inspiration to role, mo to role models and to so many young women, and so timely as well. The young students, my brother just mentioned, uh, we have a few who are in law school, first year law. Congratulations on all of hard work. We have um, Uncle Lana, uh, Mohinda, Max daughter. Congratulations on CUNY, go CUNY. We have Jessica Karji hiding in the back. Congratulations, go to our law. Um, we are very, very proud. Christine asked um, Mr. Ramasaran, what can be done to bring about more legal uh, equity? And he suggested that there has to be a groundswell of pressure on elected officials to change the system for the underserved and working poor be given long denied power, a uh, proper, rather, denied proper legal representation. We look to you to inspire and motivate, uh, motivate us as KBG did. Congratulations, and we are very, very honored to be presenting the first award to Judge Soma Sayed. Madam, I have a distinct honor and pleasure to present this award to you today. And may I read it, please, if you don't mind. The Indian Diaspora Council International recognizes Judge Soma Sayed in recognition and appreciation of your outstanding progress and pioneering role in our community. Signed, Shafran Khan, President David Wilson, Vice President for the United States. I take this honor to your Thank you so much. I just want to say that uh, I was part of the organization that brought you to Canada a couple of years back. It was a wonderful program. So you do have a history of honoring strong women. So uh, thank you so much. The second award we would love to present to Judge Amelia Fogel. 